Welcome back to my channel. My name is Naisa Esther Israel and today I want us to talk about famine. I want to talk about a famine that may be coming. I do not want to scare anybody. I don't even want to wish bad on anybody or the world and anything like that. I'm just speaking on things that I have seen in the spirit and things that I have just been led to say myself. So um, a lot of prophets have been speaking of a famine to come and I've been getting warnings on the famine since uh birth <laughs> no but like in 2000 and i want to say 2010 something came across me to just start stocking up on food i would literally be up on amazon or on walmart looking up storage uh food storages the big boxes and everything just to make sure that if anything ever happened um because i've always been warned of stuff to come does it different disasters i always want to make sure my my family be protected i always want to make sure that we're being provided for anything like things like that and yes god provides but we still have to you know not be ignorant of the ways of the world sometimes you know even when COVID first broke out uh the pandemic there was shortages in the stores with um no tissue or no food and different things groceries sold out and different things like that so we always want to be prepared and always you know be ready for if any emergency happens and so in these dreams that i had i was in grocery stores and i was getting bulk of stuff like things like um vegetables um fruits you know having dry uh dry uh grains and different things like that things that will last canned goods and stuff like that and i was like filling up my cart and other people were in the store as well filling up their cart and i had dream like that like twice and others have had dreams of different famine and different things where people was in uh scarcity or they were just in poverty and they didn't have no food or people sharing one can to towards each other and i'm just like that doesn't even have to be like that and even when i was caught up in different practices they were even telling us to stock up on food and everything and how they're going to be food storages and i'm like how when we live in america it's the most fattest country ever like there has to be food but there's going to be so much people buying foods in the stores stocking up on their storage that a lot of people are going to be with without so now while we're in the process of you know uh in between certain um viruses and different things like that and new strains coming out and hurricanes and disasters now more than ever we should be prepared and have the the, the pantry stocked up food like like just because you have a whole lot of food, your neighbor may not have anything. So when the time comes, you'll be able to help your family. You'll be able to help your neighbor as well. And even with them now making the vaccine mandatory in certain places, um, there's going to be places where you're not going to be able to go in if you don't have the vaccination, which I really relate it to the mark of the beast because it says in the Bible that you won't be able to buy or sell if you don't have the mark of the beast. And, um, a, a day's wages is going to go for a loaf of bread so it's going to be a time of poverty and famine when people won't have anything so right now when we still have the privilege to have stores and have food and have all this types of grace on our life we should definitely go in and be prepared stock up double up make sure we have water uh uh, um, lasting lifetime supply of water of emergency kits supplies things that are going to be needed if there's any time that anything is going to pop up we're always going to be prepared for protected so i had um get my i did get my stuff from walmart they had delivered to me but i'm also going to make my way over to sam's club or costco's just to get a bulk of stuff um just to be um just to make sure and i just feel comfort um, for myself just looking around and seeing you know all the the food and the water in my house just knowing that if anything does happen that i'm secure and so it brings me peace and i want to make sure that everybody else is brought with peace and make sure they're protected and, and and aware and you know always you know um 
secure and provided for. So I'm going to link in my videos also um, all the stuff that I got and the things that you should have as well just in case a famine comes. Um, it's more than likely because it's happened before. This is not the first time that we've been close to the end times. This is not the first time that we've been in type of uh, a depression or a recession. Um, but people being without food, I just think that's just not okay, especially if children are starving and old people don't even have things to eat, elderly, not old people, and uh, they have to force to eat uh, one bowl of soup and make that last. Like, that shouldn't even be the case. I feel like everybody should be fed. Everybody should be taken care of during a time like this, especially if, you know, um, uh, a lot of our uh, oppressors and enemies are against us and they're going to be closing stores and making us, you know, forcing us to take shots forcing us to do things against our will just to please them like that's not okay so that's my um video today i'm putting light to the darkness and balance to the light shalom i was not playing y'all when i tell y'all i'm gonna be prepared and secured for these last days and times make sure that you stock up on food and water got all this water and all this food because i'm gonna make sure that mine and me is good and I know that there's going to be a lot of things to where the grocery stores are going to um, be sold out of food. And there's going to be people that's going to be without food. And then they're going to be coming to certain people's houses trying to get food and different things like that. So make sure that you're um, stocked up and prepared for that emergency protection and pr uh, preparation when it comes to all types of disasters. We don't know what may happen or what is going to happen next. But we always want to make sure that we're prepared and aware and also having enough supplies to help ourselves and help others if need be so um you can if you don't want to go to the store and buy a whole bunch of things or they have things sold out in the store you can buy them online i had did walmart delivery and they just sent everything towards me and i had got like 350 worth of groceries and supplies just to be stocked up and sure and i'm also probably going to get um food storages and safety kits and supplies and other weaponry just to protect myself and things like that but um yeah and also instacart as well you can get your uh, groceries delivered to you and not have any hassle and get everything you need so that's my video today i am putting light to the darkness and bound to the light and i pray that you and yours are protected and directed during these times shalom mm -hmm.